Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to this week's topic. Morning ritual to be successful. Rings a bell somewhere, right? You've read loads of articles. You've seen videos, inspirational videos of successful people. And have you noticed they all have something in common? They're all early risers. Most of them. And each and every one of them have a morning ritual, so very customized to themselves. Whatever their morning ritual is, they have one of these things that I'm going to share with you all today. All of them. Before I dive into the topic, introducing myself, I'm Nisha Sanjeev, a journalist and passion trainer and creator of Step Out and Step It Up. A website, a book by the same name and social media pages. By the same name, step out and step it up. If you think you are an energy being and you can transform yourself, no matter where in life you are at present, then this is a platform for you because I talk about energy related topics and I share tried and tested tips and the learnings, the teachings that I've had from the great masters. So today's topic, the morning ritual that will lead you to success. I have an acronym for that diving straight into it. I have an acronym to help you remember the morning ritual that will lead you to success. GASP. G-A-S-P. So what does G stand for? Gratitude. A stands for affirmation. S stands for silence. And P stands for persistence. Remember this word GASP. Inculcate this into your morning routine and see how you can turn your life into a success story. Now, when I say morning routine, this should be inculcated into your morning routine. Now, Michael Brown in his book, The Presence Process says, routine is something that you root in. No? What is our morning routine? Our morning routine is to get up, check the mobile first, make the bed, use the washroom, drink your coffee, that is morning routine, but make a conscious morning routine to say your gratitude. That is the first morning routine you need to inculcate into your life. And you don't even have to get up, shower, brush your teeth or, you know, comb your hair, put su get suited, booted, coated, nothing. No need of all such drama. You can just, when that alarm goes off, when the alarm rings, instead of snoozing it, stop it. You can lie down in bed. You don't even have to get up. You don't have to comb that hair of yours. You don't have to brush in that smelly mouth of yours. Say your gratitude for such a beautiful day that you've woken up to. Say gratitude for everything that you have in life. And if you can mention three different things that you're grateful for every single day, in a short period of time, you would have included everything in your life that you're grateful for. And that is a beautiful space to be in. And when you start your day with such gratitude, first you may have to say it mechanically when you're not into, when you're just starting your practice, but try to put your emotions into it. Be genuinely grateful for everything that you have. Be genuinely grateful for the eight hours of sleep, four hours of sleep if you say now. If I say eight hours, you might come up and say only four hours. At least four hours you're getting. Be genuinely happy for every little thing. So mention three things that you're grateful for. You don't have to make a list every day. Every morning when you snooze your alarm, stop it instead of snoozing, lie down in bed and remember, say three things. Every day, try to come up with three new things that you're grateful for. Say thank you, universe. Thank you, divine. Thank you, God, whatever it is that you want to say. Thank you, higher intelligence. Thank you, the source. Thank you, creator, whatever that is, how you identify with and how you connect with the source. Say thank you, thank you, thank you for this, these three things. Then, get up, sit up, affirm, affirmation for three things that you want. Always be grateful, be thankful for what you have and then affirm to seek what you want. You can go down and uh, come, uh, sit up and then affirm in the present tense, visualizing it with emotions, 
three things it, it can be a short uh, your daily goal your short term goal or your long term vision whatever say three things if you want to say more go ahead say more but three minimum is good enough to start with affirm i am receiving this or i am having it or i have already had it i have it already you know even using past tense is uh, good enough for affirmations it should not be in the future tense that's all so affirm so first be grateful then set up and affirm for the three goals the dreams or your ambitions your daily goals your you have you have you're going into a meeting or you have something important that day you're waiting for some results to come in and then you want to affirm for that whatever your daily goals your short term goals your long term goals three things mention three things that every single day affirm in the morning why do you want to do it in the morning why now you may ask me why you want to do all these things in the morning can't, can't we get up in the morning and do it at nine o'clock or you know 12 o'clock 12 in the afternoon or four at night no because four in the evening no because morning your subconscious mind is at this receptive best and the more early you do it the better it is for you this is why most of the successful people are early risers early morning what happens you are calm, your mind is calm. Number one, your subconscious mind is so receptive, it is so calm. So whatever you put in there gets absorbed in, it believes in it. It's easy to fool your subconscious mind in the morning, early morning, and when you go back to when you when you're drowsing after sleep, it's easy to fool your subconscious mind. And why you want to do it early? Early in the morning, it's better to do it early in the morning because your surrounding is also calm. So if you do it at four, say in the four in the morning or five in the morning, your neighbors, your community, your society, they are also either sleep, fast asleep or they are also just waking up. So the amount of bombardment of information is not there. Every single thought of anybody around you is also populating and densing your uh, atmosphere. It that much more denser your uh, uh, your your immediate universe gets. It directly or indirectly affects you. So when the, when your mind is clear, your mind is also not gone on that rampage. You also have not started consuming all that information from everywhere. So you are calm. Your mind is calm. Your subconscious mind is beautiful, it is receptive best. That is when you sow in the seeds for what you want and how you want to like or want your life to turn out. So the first thing, say gratitude for three things, then get up, sit up, and affirm for three things, and then S for silence. Sit in silence. Don't check the mobile the first thing in the morning. Don't switch on the TV the first thing in the morning. Don't grab that newspaper the first thing in the morning. If at all you want to grab something in the morning, go and grab a bottle of water. Sit with a bottle of water for 10 minutes. Is it asking for too much? If you, The longer you sit, the better for you. But at least sit with for 10 minutes. Calm. Nothing. Be present. Feel your body. Feel your emotions. And towards the end of the 10 minutes, Half an hour would be ideal, but at least 10 minutes towards the end of the 10 minutes plan for the day. You see how much you will be in control of your day and your life once you start doing this. So G-A-S, gratitude, affirmation, sit in silence, and P, gas, gratitude, affirmation, silence. P for persistence. Do it every single day. Be persistent. Be consistent with it every single day don't say oh today holiday today that no if you can't sit in silence at least when you wake up you can have two minutes to yourself nobody's coming and disturbing you there when you go to the washroom nobody's coming in there with you you can go sit there in silence so all these excuses of no time i work early mornings or i come late nights so all bullshit if you want, you can do it. I have been doing it since long. I, will, I have never seen a sunrise in my life until 2010 because I had these lame excuses. And being a media professional, I used to work late night shifts, get back at 11, in the, 11 at night. So I was always like, oh, I can't get up early in the morning. But ever since 2010, when I started this practice, I'm not dragging myself, but I'm up at 5, between 4 and 4.30 on weekdays. 
and on weekends between 6 and 6.30 or 7, max 7.30 before my family is up. I see to it that I am up before my family is up because I need that more, that silence. My silence is very important to me. My me time, that's my me time. I sit with my bottle of warm, lukewarm lime water, plan out things, say my gratitude over and over again and affirm and do all sorts of things. So it's, it's just me. It's just me and the universe and my divine. And my life has changed for the better the last eight years. If I can do it, you can do it too. So bring in this morning ritual and the easy way to remember what you have to inculcate into morning ritual is GASP. G-A-S-P. Gratitude, affirmation, silence and do it persistently. Inculcate this into your morning routine as Michael Brown says. Routine is what you root in. So be careful, be aware, be mindful of what you root in words every morning. Be careful of the information that you take in. Again, as Michael Brown says, information is what all you take in word and that is forming your internal software. The information is what is creating your internal software. So beware of what you consume and especially beware of what you consume in the form of information early morning. Early morning is your time to connect with the source, to create the life that you so desire because you so deserve it. You deserve it. So gasp it. Gasp. Gratitude, affirmation, silence, persistence. Try doing this. Make this a routine before 2019. So 2019 happens to be the best year of your life. Catch you all next week. Until then, be happy. God bless. Thank you. Thank you.